Hello, I am the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Today, I'm going to talk about responsible franchising, the Responsible Franchise Initiative. And the one huge thing, it's so obvious, that's missing from it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but there's like this huge thing missing from it. There's actually two things, and uh, you're going to find out what they are in a moment. First, let's discuss what the franchising initiative, the, the responsible franchising initiative is. Um, it's put on by the IFA and uh, Matt Haller, who I have talked to before about this. Um, and let me just share with you exactly what it is. I didn't memorize it, so bear with me. According to the IFA, responsible franchising includes number one, setting clear goals and expectations during the pre-sale period so that franchisors and franchisees are aligned as to terms of their long-term relationship. A little wordy. Number two, connecting prospective franchisees with the right opportunity through due diligence and validations of all parties in the franchise sales process. Perfect. Number three, ensuring that franchisors and franchisees commit to their respective operational obligations to protect both the brand and the franchisees' equity in their business. I like that. Uh, number four, focusing collectively on driving un unit economics and profitability for all parties. Hey, it's about the profitability, right? And number five, embracing collaboration among the franchisor and franchisees through open communications with franchise advisory councils and independent franchisee associations when modifying standards to respond to changing market forces and consumer preferences. All right, well, you know, in theory, it's good stuff, uh, but there's there are a couple of things missing. Um, the first thing that's missing, and call me Captain Obvious, or in this case, see the crown on the back there, King Obvious, the, the thing that's missing is franchisors must commit to only award, sell, franchises to uh, uh, franchise candidates that can afford it. In other words, only award franchisees to franchisees, to, to prospective franchisees that have the money to buy and operate and pay for their living expenses when they buy the franchise. Um, I'm going to go a little further. I don't think any legitimate franchisor who offers a franchise opportunity that's in the $100,000 range plus should award sell a franchise to someone who doesn't have at minimum, at minimum, a $500,000 net worth and $100,000 in cash as part of that net worth. I, I just don't think it, it, it should and can happen these days. You know, inflation is up, um, everything costs more, and don't take this wrong, but a $500,000 net worth isn't that much. Um, so I think that at minimum, um, uh, folks who want to buy a franchise should have a $500,000 net worth. And franchisors should never award a franchise to anyone who has less than that. Uh, so, so that's the first thing that's missing is, you know, it's obvious. Uh, franchisors should only sell franchises to people who can afford it and who have the money to sustain them through that first you know, that first year especially, which is tough because uh, profit generally uh, isn't going to happen in that first year. So for the second thing, um, I'm going to make you click the link below uh, because it's really, really important. Anyway, that's my take on the Responsible Franchising Initiative put out by the IFA and Matt Holler. Um, but it's really important that um, some of the more obvious things be included in it. And there's another obvious one, and that I will talk about below when you click the link. Thank you for watching. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Subscribe for more updates on all things franchise.